Morning, everybody. Um, new van? Ah, oh, no, that's not our van. That, that's our van. Morning, Franny. So, um, what are we doing on, in the van? On the van? In the van? Ooh. We prep in, yeah, we prep in. So, uh, for some of you guys already know, we're off to, hopefully, COVID lets us, off to Spain for the winter. Ferry's booked for the 28th of December, so we're off then. So we just, we've been living in the van, getting on for six months now. Medal for me, putting up with her. Uh, <laughs> So we're just prepping things, what we what we need to take with us, and uh, we're getting quite a list together, really. So, um, new wetsuit for me. That is a pop-up privacy tent, they're called. Whoever invented that should have a special place in hell, because it's took me half an hour to get that back in, and only with the aid of a YouTube video, and even then, Obviously, obviously not. Uh, they're not catering for stupid people, and the draw the drawings are just black blobs. Fold here, do that, and it yeah makes no sense at all. So we, you, you probably know if you've seen the van already. We haven't got a shower in the in the van. It's only a medium wheelbase. We've got that so we can get into tight places. Yeah, so we prefer the um, well prefer our choice for the medium wheelbase. It allows us to get into the smaller villages and smaller towns. Uh, even in this country around Cornwall and stuff, so we've got the medium wheelbase. So anyway, that's a that's a privacy tent. Uh, we're going to use that for a, sort of an emergency shower, outdoor shower, and <laughs> no expense spent. Uh, we've bought this little thing here, and we have we have tested this. I'll show you this in a second. Um, oh, Fanny's back. There she is. Hello. Um, yeah, we've uh, we bought this power sprayer. It's more shower. So we've already we've already done a bit of testing on this, haven't we? Yeah. And we've we can uh, we can put about four liters of cold water and like a kettle full of hot, and that's enough to have a shower. You know, we don't we're talking about using it all the time, but uh, until I go wash my hair, then I'll need all ten liters. You're not having ten liters. That'd be two kettles, or you'd have ten liters of cold. You'd have that. No problem at all. So yeah, that's uh, that's our shower arrangement. We'll have a look at that in a second. <laughs> like I say, we, we try and keep it as close to camping as possible. So there's a few jobs. We've just, um, the other day, we got some uh, new rucksacks with the uh, the water bladder in there. So they're, they're, they're we, what we, when you go on long walks, a, li a, litre, a, a, a little bottle of water just ain't enough. So we bought those this week. Um, and I'm just, I've just started, it's like being at work. That, that light hasn't been wired since I did the van, so I'm just going to wire that in. So we've got a, we've got a light, a light at the back, uh, just shining back. And I was going to put one actually underneath, underneath the garage, under there as well. What else, what else are we doing to the van? Oh, a bit of tart handbag. So our wheels used to have really nice lettering on them. That's all gone. Uh, da -da. But that one, this, this one is one I made earlier. So I did that yesterday. Need to touch up with a, a black marker um, and I was trying to fill the letters in but that didn't work yeah what we've also got is uh, four cans of this stuff so this is wrapped uh, bed liner paint um, originally designed for the lining of trucks and stuff so it's really tough hard wearing paint it's uh, it's a two-pack so basically um, I, haven't, I haven't read the instructions on the tin but you basically press that in and what that will do then is to put the uh, the hardener into the paint shake it all about um, and then you've got two pack paint of course you have to use that the whole tin straight away so what we're doing with this we are we're about to take lemmy lemmy the van uh, to the jet wash so we're going to jet wash the whole van and clean all underneath the wheel arches and we're basically going to this bottom sill here if you can see it all along below the plastic trim on both sides we're going to wrap to paint that so i'll get on with that in a minute i've just ordered some sanding pads from uh, Screwfix. so i'm going to get that keyed back and there's a few already the rust is starting to come through it's a sprinter so treat treat any rust that's there and prime it uh, and then a good old wrap to paint on the top so that's what we're doing this weekend we was going to go off on a jolly 
uh, take the van somewhere because we're going to see our boat on on, uh, on Monday. We were going to go off on a jolly, but uh, we've decided that we need to do some work here, don't we? Yeah. Save our pennies. Save our pennies and get the van ready, uh, ready we for winter. To, we, need, we need to get some better hinges for the door. Well, some better hinges to hold the doors open. Because it pees me off. <laughs> yeah, so what she's on about, just lift that door there. That you just have to hold them up while you ferret, you, you know, ferreting around looking for stuff. Fine, wait, on these two for your foods and stuff, for, for, for your clothes. Yeah, so I've, I've got to figure a way of uh, keep it, popping those open. So it's just it's just little things really. We're going to get a little bit more storage baskets to put up there, just to tidy that up. Yeah. Sort all our games and stuff out. We might put them in the garage, haven't we? Yeah. So we can put some more, maybe jumpers and stuff up here. Yeah, <coughs> sweatshirts and yeah. stuff. So I've also, so um, this, this this tube carrier here, I did cut it down. That's a Land Rover roof rack, by the way. Um, I did lower that down because what I found was it was, uh, as the sun's getting a little lower now, that, that tube carrier was um, shading the solar panels. So we wasn't getting as much. Oh, fancy me some toast, I think. What's on it? Cheese. Marmalade. We got it. Uh, marmalade? Who says marmalade? Oh, yeah, I don't even say that. No, ma ma marmalade. We got some jam then, didn't we? Oh, yeah, <laughs> got strawberry jam on toast. That sounds great. So yeah, we're just doing we just doing some jobs. Not quite sure whether to get an external cover as well for the windows. Sort of pondering that. Um, yeah, tube carrier's not got it's not got conduit in or anything. I'm an electrician, but it's not got conduit in and stuff. It's got our, got my fishing rods in, um, and I am in the market for a good sea fishing rod. So I'm gonna have a look at some of those. Uh, we have got a load of other stuff in the garage. Keep showing everybody else's van, apart from ours. Uh, this is a bit of a mess at the moment, but we're trying to we're trying to structure that a little bit, a little bit neater. So we, yeah, we need to sort this out. We've got some storage boxes along there, deck chairs, emergency cool box. You never guess what goes in there. Another water carrier. So we've got spare twenty liters on board, um, and we want to. There's there's things underneath there. We get all that out. I think axes and. Uh, fishing gear as well. There's even a lobster pot in there. Oh, it's a bit early for that. But yeah, we've got to sort all this out so it's a bit neater. But right now, I'm going to wire this lighting because it's been sitting there for a long time.
Well, it says that there's the rupture done on that side. Uh, I'm about to sand the other side down. Um, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I'll step back from the van a little bit. Looks pretty good, and hopefully it'll give you that, that little bit of extra protection. Uh, there was a, I've got to do a bit of a touch-up down here. Uh, and I found a little bit of cruddiness here. It's a sprinter after all. But on the whole, yeah, pretty good with that. Start to sand the next one down, the other side. But I've also got a few other jobs on. Uh, Fran's been moaning about these cupboards for ages. So, Della Gastrut. Don't know why I or we didn't think of this earlier. It's so obvious. Um, absolutely perfect, that'll do. I might put a little rubber, little piece of rubber stop or something there just to stop it clattering into the wood. But yeah, that holds it up really strong. Probably a bit too strong, actually. Uh, certainly ain't going anywhere. But hey-ho, there we go. That's one done. Just another those five to do. Right, that's all masked off now. I've just got to move the van because there's a motorhome there. So uh, a few little patches of just surface rust, nothing too serious. I think I've got some more to do probably next year. I can see some bits above the trim. The trim's probably got to come off, but uh, hey-ho. Yep, so all masked off, uh, all keyed in. So I just need to put some primer on these uh, bare bits and then I can uh, get the Raptor paint on. Oh, that's just to protect that. So yeah, I've primed everything along there. Just the bare metal bits are treated with uh, rust treatment. Uh, let that dry now. That's just protection. I'm going to get some uh, covers for that, put some top coat on this. That's, I've just dabbed that on there. Uh, one thing about when putting primer on before you put Raptor on, you don't really got to worry about the finish because Raptor hides everything anyway. So, right, I need to get these wheels covered up before Raptor. So, uh, let's go get some plastic. Right, this is the Raptor. Uh, black uh, there's a little button there that you where uh, there's a tool there to press the hardener in just gives four minutes shaking that's one can along the sill there one can of raptor they're 400 mil cans and one can has got a pretty good coat on uh, got the, all that done there all the under sills done as well so now it's a case of just doing inside the door there and giving that another one coat. One thing I've noticed with this is you really want to keep your distance because it, uh, not you, <laughs> but the, the nozzle, because it fires so much out there. You want to be 
it's okay because it, it just adds to the finish and it's it, it seems to level itself off quite quite easily and it's textured anyway so you get away with lots of things anyway let's give that a go You can see how it's gone. Looks like uh, rice pudding, <laughs> but it will calm itself down a bit. But that's about as much as I want to put on there, really. So I'll give this uh, rest another coat. Uh, you've got an hour to use this once you've uh, pressed the button. Two minutes shaking. We've got an hour before it sets in the can, so like yesterday I needed a bit to touch up on the other side, but so uh, you don't if you press that button then that you need to use the whole can, so uh, watch out for that. But yeah, let's get this on. Uh I'll catch up with you in a minute. Alright, there you go. Two cans. Right the way under the sill. <sighs> we can see that right under the sill. All across the back. Uh into into the inner door. That's all masked off. Okay, so um, leave that masking tape on for a good hour or two. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is uh, when uh, when I took the masking tape off the other side yesterday, that stuff sticks to everything, mainly me. So leave that well alone. So uh, let me just pull the door to a little bit. Oh, are you funny? <laughs> just pull the door to a little bit so you can see I can't shut it all the way because I've just done a touch up there and there's a, there's a towel hanging up. So there you go, that's the, that's the finished effect from the side I did yesterday. Uh, not just the effect though, it's, uh, it's really a protective coat in his Raptor. So there you go. That's that. So, well, the job we did today, or I did, or phone was at work. What other job did I do today? Washing. I did the washing as well. I'm, I'll tell you something, I'm like a new man. <laughs> what else did I do today? Behind you. Hinges. Sh show everybody the hinges. See, see, see and tell anybody if I've done a good job or not. <laughs> so, yeah, put those grass, gas, grass? Gas. Gas, gas struts on every cupboard. So that makes putting our stuff away a lot easier. Right. They were an absolute pig to put on because I had to compress the strut to get it actually on. But he's done it. But I've done it, yeah. There was some cuss, cussing and cursing going on while that was on. Oh, coffee. But yeah, it not, it, we didn't do quite so much for those but because they were so cheap. We, we, we did them anyway, but uh, it was mainly for our cupboards at the back where the clothes are. Yeah. So fun's making good use of those now, putting away the clean washing, aren't you? There you go. So there's our few, some of our jobs. Uh, it's just, it's just a bit of time on the van before our boat comes. Uh, da, da, da. And yeah, I'm leaving that masking tape on for, for a bit of a while. Um, I didn't move the van in the end. Don't worry about this van here, this uh, motor room. Uh, there's definitely a draft going from this way to that way and this stuff is like brain rice pudding as well so it just go, it doesn't go anywhere right so yeah i'll take that off a bit later on yeah there's a bit of say just a bit of uh, touching up i did i can see there's a little bit there's a bit here and there's a bit on the other side so i think at some point i'm gonna have to pull that trim off and get that done just to make uh, you know try and keep it going as long as we possibly can there we go, right. So um, that's it for not a sunny day. That's what I'm doing is actually, might not be any more sunny days left. That's it for us, uh, a bit three more improvements on the van. Uh, all ready for Spain, hopefully on the 28th of December. Well, getting closer. I think I've got a few little jobs left to do that I wanna do. So, so uh, say bye-bye, Franny. Bye-bye, Franny. Bye-bye, Franny. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, if you wanna, 
follow us obviously when we head to Spain then give us a thumbs up and a like and uh, and a, a subscribe if you want to you can see uh, the van's getting closer and closer now we shouldn't be too far away there's a few still a few things that we want to do so keep in touch uh, drop us a line if you've got a self-built sprinter or something like that that you're doing yourself let's have a look at it give us a link so uh, we'll see you next time yeah bye bye